feel here. Some type of set, there's some type of mania getting in the way of him entering into the Shari Kedush. Something that's getting in the way, a person needs to know, I'm on the right path. I'm on the way up. I'm on the way up. And that's what it looks like. <coughs> to do the Aseto, a person has to acquire, a person has to make a kingdom. And most of us know that most of the time we're talking about making a kingdom, and most places, not all the time in Allah, you can also do something because of the cables. But most of the time when we're talking about making a kingdom, some type of cost involved. A person has to make some type of exchange of something, <coughs> monetary or something, and a person has to give over something. So I was learning to say from was a section of Kedusha on, on uh, this is also during the show when it was on my shoulders. Um, it's my mortgage turn as a new safer called, uh, um, it's a, it's a, Lekute Yama Chokma, as in Yanam on the Vodas Hashem. And one of the sections is on the Kedusha. It was something more that for me also too, because I always have my own path, I have my own way, I see, I see things a certain way. And one of the things that hit me, it just kind of struck me a little bit. Sometimes we, anticipate a certain type of growth from whatever the action is. Whether it's I learned a certain amount or I, I woke up for chatzot or I, I, you know, I got a finance or I went to the hotel this many days in a row, I went to keep it to deacon and all these other things. And, and, and through tefillah, some of us can be a whole second is to this or talk to this, whatever person is doing to try to get himself over, over to the next thing. But he says something uh, uh, amazing. He said that on top of a person doing all of these things and anticipating the good, Rabbi Kramana talks about this also, a person needs to be expecting for a shim to pull them out of the midst of darkness, just like we're all waiting on Mashiach, each person needs to be expecting and waiting on his own personal doing while he's waiting to work on himself. But one of the things that you might said on this was, was amazing. He says, even after all of this, a person still has to be most nefesh. He still needs to give of himself something, some type of mysterious nefesh that he's doing, even though he's doing all the avodas and he knows that it says that after he's done this and this and this and that, he should achieve a certain thing, or these are the things, this is the way up. It says even on top of that, he needs to be most nefesh in some type of way. And what does he say, how does he do it? He needs to set for himself good down. He needs to set for himself some type of love, some type of fit, some type of something that's going to be for a person his way of being most nefesh. His way of giving of himself, his own self-sacrifice on the way up. And when I thought about that, and I thought about this piece, this type of, this thing of making a kingdom on the, on the, on the I say tov, on, on, on acquiring a good, I said, oh, there's the cost. There's the exchange. There's the exchange. It's one thing to have the vote and the anticipation, and you think that, oh, yeah, but, okay, I push myself. I already know I'm going to do this. But on top of that, I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to set some type of something that's going to be, for me, a major self sacrifice. It doesn't have to be crazy on a crazy level, but for the person, for the person to know. The ignorance is that a person needs to know there's one valuable tool that all the growth, any type of growth that a person needs, whether it's Baruchnis, whether it's Vagashmis, and for some reason Vagashmis, we understand this a whole lot more, like with most things, but with Baruchnis, Heat a person needs to learn how to strengthen himself constantly. He needs to always be looking for ways to machazik himself in the Bodhis Hashem and to never allow himself to get down for one moment. Hashem is never bringing, he's got no time as any of us. He knew what door he put us in. He knew what type of situations we would be in. He knew what, what things we would face in our generation. And every single day, he knew and he knows. So a person is the first fix. When we go back to the first, is his deal, his, his das. He needs to know Hashem and know Hashem in all of his ways. And he needs to know Hashem has no tainas on him. To know Hashem, I always say, they used to say, I don't know if this, I haven't been to, thank God, Baruch Hashem. And to say that things are not happening, but I haven't been to many Jewish funerals, Baruch Hashem. I was the youngest Jew in the room, I'm sure. But at least I can say, I haven't been to many Jewish funerals. But I know a lot by the going, unfortunately. I've been to a lot. And one of the things that they always say, 
And to know him was to love him. By the person that passed by. To know him was to love him. The person that passed on, whoever the deceased was, they always say, oh, to know him was to love him. And I was thinking about this one time I was going to speak and said, if only a person knew to know Hashem is to love him. It's to love him. Anytime a person gets to a place where not only that he's looking at Hashem in a certain way, or he has a certain, he has a feeling of a disposition that Hashem's upset with me, or he's, he's not happy with me, or he's not pleased with me, or the person may feel this about himself. Anytime he gets to this type of place, he needs to know he's falling out of your dear. Hashem loves you. Hashem desires your vote. He desires your service more than he desires the service of angels. Hashem is desiring for each and every one of us. And the more and more a person's tapped in to this dots, the more and more he knows that about himself, the more and more he'll be able to pick himself up and he'll grow and he'll go from level to level, from strength to strength, and eventually he'll be able to bring the base of Mikdash. He's like Hashem, all of us together. Hashem should help us, he should strengthen us. All of us, all of you should be Masmidim Mesa at the Shem. You should be Tamide Tafamim, you should give a Shem Nafis, you should give your parents Nafis, your Rebbe's Nafis, Mesa at the Shem. Now we should grow together. Then we will bring the base of Mikdash. After that, we'll take any questions inside of the room. Thank you so much.